Sustainable economic development is the development that takes place without damaging the environment and development in the present without compromising the needs of future generations. Over a hundred heads of states met in Rio de Janeiro in June 1992 for the first ever International Earth Summit. The summit was convened to address urgent problems of environmental protection and socio-economic development at a global level. The leaders in attendance signed the Rio Declaration on Global Climatic Change and Biological Diversity. The Rio Convention also endorsed the Global Forest Principles and adopted Agenda 21 to achieve sustainable development in the 21st century. Agenda 21 was the declaration site at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, UNCED, in 1992 in Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. The agenda works to combat environmental change and disease through global cooperation on common interests, mutual needs and shared responsibilities. A major objective of the agenda is that every country should have its own local agenda 21. To be able to judiciously use our resources, planning is necessary. And it is important in a country like India, where there is a lot of diversity in the availability of resources. Certain regions in the country are rich in a certain kind of resource, but lack other kinds of resources. For example, Jharkhand, Chhattisgarh and Madhya Pradesh are rich in minerals and coal deposits. Arunachal Pradesh, on the other hand, has an abundance of water but lacks infrastructure development. Rajasthan has great solar and wind energy resources but no water resources. Ladakh is a cold desert that has a very rich cultural heritage but lacks water, infrastructure and vital minerals. Due to these imbalances, balanced resource planning at the national, state, regional and local levels is required. Resource planning is a complex process which involves the identification and inventory of resources across regions of the country. This would include surveying, mapping and quantitative and qualitative estimation and measurement of the resources. It also involves the evolution of a planning structure endowed with appropriate skill, technology and an institutional setup to implement resource developmental plans. It involves the matching of the resource development plans with overall national development plans. India has made many efforts to achieve the goals of resource planning ever since the first five-year plan was launched after independence. For the development of any region, availability of natural resources is required. However, these resources alone are not enough. Corresponding changes in technology is also needed. Many regions in India are rich in resources, but these regions may be economically backward. Or regions which have poor resources are economically developed, and this is not good for all-round development. From the history of colonization, we know that foreign invaders were attracted by the rich resources in the colonies. Because of their higher levels of technological development, the colonizing countries were able to exploit the resources of other countries and establish their supremacy over them. Thus, while resources can contribute to development, it is important that they be accompanied by appropriate technological development and institutional changes. India has also experienced this in the various phases of colonization. And so, now development in India does not involve only the availability of resources. It also involves the technology, quality of human resources and the historical experiences of the people.